The first video is coming at you today a little bit later than usual, but don't worry, we've still got enough time to make a few more great vids today. This is a real crucial day. You're seeing the price of AMC now at about 20 48. Look at where it was earlier in the day. We're coming to, and actually below, if we have a look over here, that $20 mark. And this is really, really important and really crucial. And today is going to be one of the biggest battles, in my opinion, that we've faced in a very long time. So we want to talk about that and look at the DD that we have over here. It's going to be a good video. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. But we're going to dive into this one right away. Now, this is not going to be a technical analysis just to sort it off, but I do want to acknowledge the price section that we are seeing. On the one day, look at this price section again, coming down below 20, so that support at 20 isn't holding so far. We're seeing it obviously come back up and staying around the 20, 40 to 20, 60 range, but really, we've broken below that 20 for the first time now in a couple of months, and that really is a significant milestone in my opinion. Now, as I have said before, this is an eventuality that I have been prepared for. I know a lot of people have been as well, and I've said it as well before. I wouldn't be surprised if this one goes down to 19, 18, maybe even lower than that. But if it does, I'm going to use that as the opportunity to load up even more. That's just the way that I see the price section. But again, this video is not intended to look at the price too much. We're going to speak about what the price has to do with options and that sort of stuff later and why it's dropping so much today. Anyway... This is coming from five hours ago. It's coming from Boss Trans Transized, I believe it is, who posted this. We're probably going to get blasted today. I'm ready. Are you? I didn't. I didn't hold to 70 only to sell down at 20. Bring on whatever you've got, Hedges. You trained me for this. Again, just a reminder of what I've been saying, but worded in a different way from a different individual. And obviously, it's got about 2k upvotes and all these awards, so I'm not the only one thinking this. Yeah. I held this one up to 72, why are we going to sell now at 20? We know what we're in for, and for me, as I have said before, you guys should do what you want to because I am not a financial advisor and this is all my opinion, but for me, I think it is worth it for me to hold. The maximum I have to lose is 100%, the maximum I have to gain is more than 100%, so in my opinion, risk to reward, it probably is worth it. And this is another user speaking about that same thing. This is from user rawsource88, who posted 11 hours ago on r slash amc. 20k down is a battle, uh, no, I am a battle ape, and I will keep on buying. One share of amc a day keeps the doctor away. Ain't... So ain't ever selling, I'm down 20k, I want all my bros and sis to be eating good after the squeeze with their Lambos. Let's get it, buy and hold, but of course, not financial advice. Couldn't agree more, you know, once again, this person has lost money here, I think a lot of people have seen those big profits but haven't yet realised them, and now they are coming down, and I don't think people are too bothered, they're going to keep holding because the movement is about more than price moves of $10, $20, maybe even more than that. We're not here to see drops of $10, but we're not here to see raises of $10. The same can be said for $30, $40. We're not here to see moves of that size. We want to see more than that. Now, this one has come from Gold Building 378 who posted this. It is a repost from what Dr. Marco Mesler posted. And if we have a read of it, it says, keep holding, um, keep holding even if AMC will go further down. MOAS will happen when markets are crashing more than 25% of the current levels. And Frank Furio, who is also in this, and he has re... or at least Marco Mesler has reposted what this guy has written. AMC had a tough day today, closing down by 9.07%, but over at Fidelity, AMC remains in the top 10 on the top buys and sells list. It is posted 4,967 4, buy orders versus 1.8k sell orders, more than double. More buy orders than Ford, Apple, or AMD, which are some of the biggest companies out there. Since this tracks retail activity, it would indicate that retail is buying and hedges are just shorting more. The only problem with that is the only way out of a massive short position is to buy. The more you short, the more you'll have to buy back when that moment does arrive. It's only his opinion, but tick talk my friends. Again, not advice for investments and he is not a financial advisor, but he does have some real interest in theories. Now this one is coming from Roti Chiral five hours ago on r slash AMC. AMC has dipped below 20 in the German market and it went on later to do the same thing in the American market, but yeah, hold guys. Have been here since last January. Come down here, 
can assure you that this would be the biggest hurdle for investors who got in after June. OG apes who got in sub $10 haven't sold since then and probably numb during such turbulent times. Overcome this and a new breed of diamond balls will be formed. Again, not financial advice, but this does train people up in a way that they may need because in the last two or three years, and again, this is unrelated to AMC, but really since the market crash of mid-2020, we're seeing these massive bull runs continuously. Not many, not many assets are actually going down since that time period. Now things are falling off a cliff, kind of. We're seeing indices fall day by day in the American market, and we're obviously seeing certain stocks fall even more than that. So whilst AMC has its own thing going on, this is a lesson to investors long term because I know I know of a lot of people who get scared when the prices drop 10-15% when actually if they looked at this one a bit more sensibly, then they would not be regretting it when the price jumps up in the future. Again, will that happen with AMC or not? That's a different topic because it is purely objective, but my opinion is the MOAS is still on. Now this one is coming from the same user, Roti Chiral, this time 11 hours ago. I don't get why some normal citizens and investors would want AMC to fail. Hedges want AMC to go down, understood. Institutions backing the same hedge funds want it to go down, also understood. But normal class citizens who are talking bad about AMC and dissing the apes on social media, I don't get it. Unlike the hedges, they don't have any stake in the company and it's very ironic to see middle socio-economic group wanting us to fall. It's fine one it's fine if one or do not believe in the cause, but dissing the apes and resigning to the fate of the common class citizens being suppressed by the 1% is a new low. They are real online accounts, not bots, and some of them whom I met IRL, so in real life, two who thinks we are lunatics. I bet they are the kind of co-workers who, you know, insult their mates just to rise to the top of the ladder. And once more, as I have said, I have some stocks which I am long on. Of course, I may have some stocks at times that I have been short on. In that instance, I'm allowed to have an opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion either way. But really, let's just think of a random stock, okay? I don't care what's going on right now with Tesla at all because I don't really own shares in it. So it doesn't bother me if it goes up or down, for example. It's just my opinion, but I don't understand, like the user posted, why would somebody who has zero stake be so interested? It just doesn't make much sense, in my opinion. Anyway, nine hours ago, once more speaking about the battle for 20. Now, this one's coming from Dahef IRL, who posted this about nine hours ago. Why? Three-day weekend, of course. There is a holiday on the Monday. I think it's going to be Martin Luther King Day, so... That's something that we're having a day off for. And going into a red weekend, we have a long time to think about it. And they have a long time to demoralize people, as we have found out in the past with all of the bots and shill tactics. Now, once more, as we know for Fridays, is option expiry numbers. And 20 is a nice round number. And it does really stick in people's heads, right? Think about this one. 20 is a level that we're seeing hold up many times in the past. So when you see, oh, AMC is sat along 20, it's borderline on it, fair enough, but it's not going to drop below it. The moment it drops below it, it starts to look like a, a more aggressive number, something which people are scared of, when in reality, from the current price, it's only a drop of about 50 cent, which is bringing us down to the $19 range. So it's just, again, about that game of mental tactics. Prepare yourself for what's going to be going on today, and I don't think we've seen the worst of it. I think it is possible that we're looking at below 20 at close. And maybe even into next week, another week of red. But it's highly likely that the MOAS is still on track. Nothing has changed fundamentally. And bears are going to use all of these tactics. I see them in every single one of my video comment sections. And I'm not bothered by them. If they have their bearish opinions, that's completely fine. And I want to speak about this more in a different video later on, but really they do try to demoralize the content creators, whether it be on YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, anywhere else. They try and demoralize these people, and on top of that, they just keep spreading these negative messages saying, oh, we can't trust these creators, we can't trust the movement at all. So who can we trust? Can we trust the bears? Why would the bears have our best interests at heart? It just does not make sense. Just my opinions, of course, but I will see you all again in another one in about an hour or so, so... Thank you for joining me for this one, see you then. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon